Incredible developments are unfolding in the world of space exploration. Blue Origin faces yet another setback with a disappointing abort, and the reasons behind this incident have now been revealed. What exactly went wrong? Meanwhile, SpaceX's Starship launch date has seen minor adjustments, but confidence in its readiness remains high. Across the globe, China has unveiled ambitious plans to plant its flag on the moon as early as next year, showcasing its rapidly advancing space program. With so much exciting news to cover, let's dive right on in on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Many space enthusiasts were likely left disappointed after spending two hours watching the new Glenn launch attempt on January 13th, only to be met with six postponements and an eventual abort announcement. Naturally, this raised questions about the updated launch schedule and the root causes of the problem. Let's begin with the updated schedule. Following the aborted attempt, Blue Origin announced on X, New Glenn launch update. Our next launch attempt is no earlier than Tuesday, January 14th. Our three-hour window remains the same, opening at 1 a.m. Eastern, or 0600 UTC. However, the company tempered expectations by adding, Tonight's poor weather forecast at LC36 could result in missing this window. Unfortunately, this prediction proved accurate. In a subsequent update, Blue Origin stated we're moving our NG-1 launch to no earlier than Thursday, January 16th. The three-hour launch window opens at 1 a.m. Eastern, or 0600 UTC. This new schedule notably places New Glenn's launch behind SpaceX's Starship Flight 7, which is currently targeted for January 15th. With both missions vying for attention, Blue Origin's failure to meet its original timeline has seeded the opportunity for New Glenn to launch first. Considering Blue Origin's attempts to gain credibility in the competitive space industry, this missed chance could be seen as a major setback. Moreover, January 16th might not be the final launch date. Weather conditions at the New Glenn launch area are expected to remain unfavorable for several days. Weather factors, including visibility, wind, and sea conditions for booster recovery, play a critical role in determining launch feasibility. As Blue Origin plans to land the New Glenn booster on its drone ship Jacqueline, poor conditions could lead to further postponements. The situation recalls last summer's repeatedly delayed Starliner mission, which eventually launched but fell short of expectations. Is New Glenn heading toward a similar fate? Although setbacks are disappointing, we remain hopeful for a successful outcome. Now let's turn to the cause of the recent abort. Initially, Blue Origin offered little detail, stating only, We're standing down on today's launch attempt to troubleshoot a vehicle subsystem issue that will take us beyond our launch window. We're reviewing opportunities for our next launch attempt. However, in the update announcing the January 14th delay, the company disclosed additional specifics. This morning's scrub was due to ice forming in a perch line on an auxiliary power unit that powers some of our hydraulic systems. This issue highlights the challenges of operating a rocket system as complex as New Glenn. The rocket's reliance on liquid oxygen and liquid methane, both of which have extremely low freezing points, mean that even minor temperature control issues can result in significant complications. In this case, ice formed in a purge line, leading to blockages that disrupted fuel flow. The severity of the problem required engineers to abort the launch and take immediate corrective actions. This incident also raises broader concerns about New Glenn's reliability and operational readiness. Blue Origin had previously completed wet dress rehearsals and static fire tests successfully, both of which included fuel loading procedures. However, these successes did not translate to the actual launch attempt, calling into question the consistency of the rocket's systems. Such inconsistencies may prompt the FAA to scrutinize Blue Origin's operations more closely before granting future launch licenses. These concerns are compounded by the fact that New Glenn's hardware for the second and third flights faced serious issues last year, further undermining confidence in the rocket's readiness. Journalist Eric Berger, who closely monitored the launch attempt, provided additional insights into the abort. Besides the purge line issue, Berger pointed to potential problems with the rocket's onboard communication system. This system is critical for deploying the booster's landing legs during touchdown on the drone ship Jacqueline. Since a successful booster recovery is a key objective for New Glenn's reuse strategy, any malfunction in this system could jeopardize the mission and warranted extreme caution during the launch attempt. 
Addressing these technical challenges will undoubtedly take time, and when combined with ongoing weather-related delays, it's likely that the new Glenn mission will be pushed back even further. Each delay not only postpones the rocket's debut, but also risks further damaging Blue Origin's reputation in an industry where timing and reliability are paramount. This delay also comes at a time when SpaceX continues to dominate the aerospace landscape, with over 400 successful Falcon 9 launches, an impressive reuse record, and a robust lineup of missions, SpaceX has set the benchmark for efficiency and innovation in space exploration. The Falcon Heavy is adding to its legacy with major contributions to lunar missions, and Starship, with its imminent Flight 7, is poised to redefine what rockets can achieve. By comparison, Blue Origin's struggles with New Glenn highlight the steep challenges of competing in this rapidly evolving field. Despite these setbacks, the New Glenn mission remains a significant step for Blue Origin. Success could pave the way for the company to become a more serious competitor in the orbital launch market, especially as it eyes future missions like launching NASA's Mars spacecraft Escapade and deploying Kuiper satellites for Amazon. However, the road ahead will require overcoming substantial technical and operational hurdles. So do you think New Glenn can finally launch this week? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like the video, as well as subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's progress and other exciting developments in the aerospace industry. In the meantime, SpaceX and Starship continue to garner attention alongside Blue Origin's New Glenn. In the latest SpaceX update, the Flight 7 launch was rescheduled for January 15th. Consequently, Cameron County revoked road closures initially planned for January 13th and the 14th. Interestingly, the 15th was also briefly removed from the schedule, sparking concerns of a possible oversight. However, a subsequent update clarified the road closure plan. January 15th is now designated as the primary launch day with January 16th and the 17th as backup options. While the shifting schedule has caused some uncertainty, there are no indications of issues with the Flight 7 hardware. Following earlier tests, S-33 was destacked from B-14 for thorough inspections before being restacked. This careful process reflects SpaceX's commitment to ensuring the flight hardware is mission-ready. S-33 is expected to remain mounted on B-14 until stage separation during the flight. Additional pre-launch preparations included testing the chopsticks catching mechanism with the arms raised to their maximum height on the 13th. These extra tests likely aim to validate the system ahead of its critical role in catching the Super Heavy Booster post-flight. The team must remain vigilant, conducting regular checks and monitoring weather conditions to ensure the launch proceeds smoothly. If all goes according to plan, Starship Flight 7 could launch before Blue Origin's new Glenn, marking a symbolic victory for SpaceX and Elon Musk's team. This milestone also highlights Starship's potential to revolutionize space exploration. Let us know if you're excited by commenting, of course, and stay tuned for updates. Shifting focus to China, the country has ambitious plans to plant its flag on the moon's south pole as early as 2026. Rather than waiting for a crude lunar landing, China aims to achieve this milestone through its Chang'e 7 mission. This mission will explore and study water ice at the lunar south pole, laying the groundwork for future crewed missions and the construction of a permanent base. Zhang Tianzhu, deputy head of the Institute of Future Technology at the Deep Space Exploration Laboratory, confirmed these plans. He explained the challenges of making a flag appear to fly in the moon's airless environment. To address this, China will use closed wire loops and magnetic fields to create the illusion of movement. Multiple teams are working to accelerate progress and meet the mission's schedule. In addition to Chang'e 7, China is advancing preparations for the Chang'e 8 mission and the construction of the International Lunar Research Station. These initiatives underscore the growing competition for dominance at the moon's south pole, an area rich in resources and strategic importance. China's flag-planting plan also sends a strong message to the world, particularly to the U.S. and NASA. For decades, the U.S. has held the distinction of being the only nation to plant a flag on the moon. This new challenge calls for a swift and decisive response. 
NASA and its partners, including SpaceX, must accelerate plans to maintain American leadership in lunar exploration. Key upcoming missions, such as Artemis II and the unmanned Starship HLS, will play a vital role in ensuring the first flag at the lunar south pole is American. Speeding up these initiatives is critical, but success depends on meticulous planning and execution. As the race to the moon intensifies, all eyes will be on NASA, SpaceX, and other organizations to uphold the U.S.'s pioneering legacy in space exploration. The coming years promise groundbreaking achievements and fierce competition in space. With missions like Starship Flight 7 and Chang'e 7 on the horizon, the quest for lunar dominance will shape the future of humanity's presence beyond Earth. Stay tuned to see how these historic developments unfold. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, keep looking up.